Hi, and welcome to another episode of Steps Math with Miss Hayden. I'm Miss Hayden, and today we're going to be using a Jamboard to look at how to do a dollar up. So for those of you who have not used a Jamboard before, this is part of the G Suite, so Google's suite of products, and it's like an interactive whiteboard, and you can share it in real time with other people. So this can be a really handy thing. Now, today we're working on the concept of dollar up, and this is basically just rounding up to the next whole dollar, and it's useful when teaching students how to pay for products. So um, if you round, if you always round up every single time, then you know um, how much money to hand the cashier. That's the concept. So if they tell you something like, okay, this product costs 79 seven ninety nine and you always round up to eight then you hand them eight dollars you have enough to pay for the product so when we're teaching this it's useful to have a number line and then a number of products to practice on so here we're going to be only working with products that are up to nine dollars and ninety nine cents so our number line only reaches ten and I've put here our first product. So the first thing we're going to look at is this Nature's Bounty Vitamin E Rapid Release. All right, let me go over here to the laser. So the first thing our students need to do is identify how much does it cost. And that's right here. So the correct answer is $7.99. Now, if your student cannot identify the cost of the product, then they're not ready to work on this dollar up goal. So the first thing to do is to teach them how to identify the cost of the product. How much does it cost? $7.99. All right. So then you're going to ask, what is the first number? And it is seven. The first number is seven. All right. So because the first number is seven, we find seven on the number line. And then I say it just like this in kind of a sing-songy way. Dollar up. And I draw a little loop there. So we found seven. Dollar up with a loop. And so our answer is eight. All right. Let's try that again. All right. Let me add a new picture here. Let's see what we've got. Okay, this is good. Here we've got some of these beautiful black diamond nuts. Okay, so our first question is, how much does it cost? And our students need to be able to say $5.99, or point to it at least. It costs $5.99. All right, look at the first number. What is the first number? Five. Find five on the number line. And now, dollar up. So our answer is six. And I usually don't even explain this. I don't say anything to the student like, um, okay, you need to find the number that's to the right. Or I don't even say find the next number or the larger number. I just teach it to them by showing them over and over and over. And then eventually we can eliminate the number line and they'll be able to make a representation of a number line just in their mind, in their head. Let's try another one. Let's find, what have I got here? All right, here we go. Aquifer. I use this all the time for um, my eczema. All right. Aquifer baby ointment. How much does it cost? $6.99. What's the first number? Six. Find six on the number line. Dollar up. The answer is seven. Let's try another one. All right, what have we got here? We've got some Vicks De-Stress Sleep Mel Melatonin. That sounds useful. Uh-oh, it's over $10. Yeah, let's get another one. Our number line only goes to 10. Now you can certainly have your kiddos practice with products that are more than $10, but um, if they haven't learned the concept yet and are still using a number line, make sure your number line goes high enough. All right, good. We've got some Johnson's Hand and Face Baby Wipes. All right. 
So how much do they cost? 289. What's the first number? Two. Find two on the number line. Dollar up. Our answer is three. Now, folks, if you're wondering where I get all these images, um, I just go to like some sort of like website that sells products. Um, I don't use Amazon because the the prices are too small, but like I might go to like Walgreens.com. Oh, seems to be down. Um, let's do CVS.com. And then I just shop. I just go into the shopping area and I find a product that has a price. Um, so, okay, here we go. L'Oreal Paris. And then I do a screen grab of, and I only, I don't capture the whole screen. I just do a screen grab of this small area that has the picture of the product and the price. And so then I just save the screen grab and then I go in here and um, I insert it. And that's how, if any of you use the images in the flashcards website, that's how I get most of them as well. Um, so let's just do one more. Here is some um, Johnson's Clean and Fresh Kids Shampoo. So first question, how much does it cost? 471. What's the first number? Four. Find four on the number line. Dollar up. Our answer is five. Thanks.